Now Live events really started as a celebration of being in the moment, but in a way that is through the arts and through different kinds of activities that root your attention on the present moment. One of the key things that we are interested in is kind of getting people to be more mindful, but in a way that's kind of fun and playful. My name's Matt, I'm an artist and I've just been doing a sensory sculpture workshop and the idea is it's like a mindfulness sculpture so it's focusing down onto one sense. The other um, branch of what we do is actually working with children as well and we work with, um, particularly with Mindfulness in Schools projects, who have projects all around the world now in different schools and really they try and create a very fun and playful way of children engaging with mindfulness by giving them really practical tools to kind of centre themselves. My name's Libby Davey and I just ran the Poetry and Chocolate Workshop. We covered how to write, basically to trust your own voice. We, we covered mindfulness, so we sat and really felt ourselves in the seat. We think that mindfulness is something that really can create and transform a kind of ripple in your life and can be, by extension, a real force for positive change in your life. And the benefits of that can be really widespread to your own kind of well-being and your own health. Hi, I'm Mark Williamson. I run Action for Happiness. And today we've been talking about things that make us happy, but specifically this amazing capability we all have to pay attention, to choose what we pay attention to right here, right now. And if we do that, the amazing effect it can have on our own well-being and also our ability to have a positive impact on others. Mindfulness has been proven to be as effective as medication for depression and anxiety in recent scientific studies and through sharing these skills through various means we aspire to create real change. What we're really trying to encourage people to do is, is to um, see different ways that they can be mindful in their everyday lives, not just through the arts but by extension to you know doing the washing up or walking down the street. It's a skill that we all have, it's just about remembering to do it.